Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the partial derivatives for this given equation, so for this given, to find the derivative of z with respect to x, so for this case, we assume that y is a constant. So for the derivative of x to the power 3, this is 3x to the power 2, then minus, since y is a constant, so bring down y to the power 2 times the derivative of x, that's 1, then plus for this term, since there is no x, so this term is a constant, and for the derivative of a constant is 0, so this is equal to 0. Then to simplify, so we have the derivative of z with respect to x. So this is 3x squared minus y squared. Then for the derivative of z with respect to y, so for this case, we assume that x is a constant. So for this term, since there is no y, so this is constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0, so this is equal to 0, then minus, since x is a constant, so bring down, times the derivative of y to the power 2, that this is 2y, then plus, so bring down this constant, 3 times the derivative of y to the power 2, that's 2y. Then to simplify, so the derivative of z with respect to y equals, so this is negative 2xy plus 6y. Then for this given, to find the partial derivatives, so for the derivative of z with respect to x, so again, for this case, we assume that y is a constant. So bring down this constant first. So we have 3y then times the derivative of x squared. This one is 2x then minus for this term. Since there is no x, then this is a constant. So the derivative of constant, this one is 0. Plus, so we have x, bring down the constant, times the derivative of x, that's 1. Then minus, since this is constant and the derivative of constant is 0, so this is 0. Then to simplify, so the derivative of z with respect to x, so multiply, this is 6xy, then plus, this one is 0, 0, plus 4. And for the derivative of z with respect to y, so for this case, we assume that x is a constant. So bring down this constant first, so we have 3x squared times the derivative of y, that's 1, then minus the derivative of y squared, that's 2y, then plus. So for this term, since there is no y, and this is constant, and for the derivative of a constant is 0, so this is equal to 0, then minus, this is constant, the derivative of constant is 0, so minus 0. Then to simplify, so we have dz over dy equals 3x squared minus 2y. Then for this given, so to find the partial derivatives, so we have the derivative of z with respect to x. 
So again, for this case, we assume that y is a constant. So bring down this constant. So 3 e to the power y to the power 4 times the derivative of x to the power 3. This is 3x to the power 2. Then we have the derivative of z with respect to x. So multiply 3 times 3. This one is 9. Then x squared times e to the power y to the power 4. Then for the derivative of z with respect to y, so for this case, we assume that x is a constant. So bring down this constant, 3x to the power 3 times the derivative of e to the power y to the power 4. Since the derivative of e to the power u equals e to the power u times the derivative of u. So for this given, the derivative of e to the power y to the power 4. So we have e to the power y to the power 4. Then times the derivative of y to the power 4. This is 4y to the power 3. Then to simplify, so the derivative of z with respect to y equals so multiply this 3 and 4, this one is 12, then x to the power 3, y to the power 3, times e to the power y to the power 4. Then for is given to find the partial derivatives, so the derivative of z with respect to x, so we assume that y is a constant and for the derivative of ln u equals the derivative of u over u and this is u so we have the derivative of u since y is a constant so the derivative of 3x this one is equal to 3 times the derivative of x that's 1 then plus, for this term, since there is no x, so this is constant, and the derivative of constant is 0, so we have 0 then over, so just copy 3x plus 4y to the power 2. Then to simplify, so we have dz over dx equals, this is 3 over 3x plus 4y to the power 2. Then for the derivative of z with respect to y, so we assume that x now is a constant. So to find the derivative, since for this term there is no y, so this is constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0, plus bring down the constant times the derivative of y squared, this is 2y, then over, then copy 3x plus 4y squared. So we have now the derivative of z with respect to y equals, so this is 8y over 3x plus 4y to the power 2.